Hey MechWare, welcome back to Opal Plays MechWare 5. We are in the Cashila system, and one thing I forgot to do was pick up that uh, lovely double heatsink that was available. So I figured I'd come back and do that. And now that I've got that, let's go back and take a look at this guy. This is the Kentaro um, I've been using. Hmm. It's a little bit light on SRM damn it, uh, ammo. But my thought was I could take this out and maybe switch out a, the medium for a large. As in all three. And that would give me something more appropriate for long range. Um, that's the real shortcoming. Is that's all he's got for long range is this LRM-5. Hmm. I also thought about putting this another heat sink, but so if I got rid of this, that would be two and three. And then four, getting rid of this, and that would let me switch and just switch this out to a large laser. Better make sure I actually got a large laser. Ah, I do. What do you know? And that would be 10 points of damage, which would just about... Yeah, that actually replaces the amount of damage of this. But I'm going to go down. Leave it be. Sometimes I get too wrapped up in numbers. If you weren't there for the last episode, I picked up this Kentaro. It's a lovely little mech. I put the XL engine in it that used to be in the Mongoose and made a whole bunch of other upgrades. As you can see, it's a pretty good one. And that will be my ride going forward. And we're going to go down to Swin Wan and uh, take out a mission. Make some more money. Fortress detected in the system. Cool. We're not even there yet. I guess we are on a dropship. So... That has to be Coyote. Not sure what the traitor thing was on the last episode. Yeah, I'm not going to be doing that. <laughs> Three mission? <laughs> no. Warzone 175. Let's see what my tonnage actually comes out to. And we're taking money. And the mongoose is gone. Not gone. We will wait for that. I can drop the fire starter and still be in range. I prefer to have all of my pilots available. Especially him. Speaking of which, I'm going to go on a campaign to get them better. I want the Kentaro 90, 190. Yeah, he needs work on missile on everything. He's a 15. Let's see what we got. 1560. Everybody's bad at this point. And nobody's got missiles. Ouch. <clears throat> Time for me to start shopping for pilots. Yeah, I'm going to do that next time I get to an industrial hub. Love the names, Wicked, Bubba, and Mother, but their skills kind of bite. I just gotta find a way out of this mess, Rihanna. There we go. Man, mech traps everywhere. These are mech traps, by the way. 
AIs just don't have a good time trying to navigate their way through this. So that being said, the answer is stop and wait. Which is cool, because I need to... Good lord. Roger. Or tell them to come here. Okay, got it. And go back and get them. Yeah, because they're lost. Looks like the other one made it sway around. That's just a whole bump fest right there. Getting old, wicked. Well, the hunchback's only 64, so we got a cut back. And they didn't even follow. Got it. It's bad enough being one target. I, I mean, battle make light. That's a whole lot of nasty. Finally, now we do the slow crawl. Except one of them got stupid and went through the walls, didn't it? Come on out of there. Gotta get used to the lag. Not lag. Lead. I've got my target. Good for you. Enemy mech forces spotted operating in the area. Watch out for them. Oh, slow PPCs. This is burnout. Enemy mech destroyed. I'll get there. Might swap that for a laser, though. That VTOL is on our list of targets. Let's make our quarter. Boy. I think I got him, sir. I think I got seven large lasers I can do an upgrade and probably come out with a a single three, two or three. And that's just point and shoot, so. I'm not sure what that shot was at. Obviously that did not connect. Aha! I can kill tanks. I can hit fire starters. Get out of that narrow area. 
bring the fight to where I am suited to fight it. Sort of. Vitals. Yep, lots. Two more. That would be them. That'd be a hell of a lining up a shot at 1500 meters away through a, a hillside. Yeah, I'm just gonna run. And they are not following. This is seriously the long way around, too. Call this a scrapyard. I should change the name of it to a rust yard. <clears throat> I'll tell you, as a hobbyist knife maker, I'd love to get some of this steel. And they're coming around the other way. I think I can catch a couple ground vehicles. Swing, if I can get through. Miss. Miss. I thought this is where I started, pretty much. I are ready. Time to collect our pair. Mm, got promoted. Which is, of course, synonymous with making progress. Now, what do I want from this sad mess of stuff? I'm going to tell you. Nothing. We'll go with that. Well, it did the damage, didn't it? Well, did the kills, too. It's just not the kills on the max. So, let me go to... See just what I can do here with this. Yeah, I need three to do that. I'll go ahead and do that. So that gives me a large laser. <laughs> yeah. Uh-uh. I'm guessing the advantage of this is that it lets you put this into one weapon, energy weapon slot, even though it takes up, uh, what is it, three slots to do it. Holy crud. Space wise, but if you only can carry one energy weapon on your, say, your left arm, you put this on it, and bang, you're popping out 24 points like it's a PPC, but it's direct line of fire. That's a 
substantial bonus. But not what I want, so yeah, I got two large lasers now. So I can let's be honest, I'm not very good with that PPC. I'd rather hit stuff than shoot it. And it gives me two more tons of potentially heat sinks, ammos, or bigger weapons. So gotta keep keep that in mind. I could even almost go two large lasers. I could indeed. Okay, what's this? A 230? That's a little bit over my head. And it's a demolition. Hmm. 200's within range. But it's a multi mission. And I'm not suited for that. I'm not doing a ground war. Those are terrible. Okay, I'll take that back. They're a lot of fun, but they can be hard. And the battleground is a war zone on steroids. So. Hmm. I'm thinking this battlefield looks better than that battlefield only because it's closer. Boy. Nothing else is showing missions. We got over here. Not suited for a defense yet. You know, I kind of am. Let's go do that. It's going to make it a uh, <coughs> slightly long episode, but uh, high reward missions are something we should all pursue more because you simply make a lot more f money. So let me view that. Hell, I got to clear up a whole bunch of stuff, huh? None of this is real. It's already all in the past. Not available. That is. That's good. Yep, that's cool. Didn't think I was ready for those two yet, but I guess I am. That one I am. Let me just start hitting a sip. Oh, am I going to... Forgot about that one. Hello. You can step out. You can step in. And that puts me up another 10 tons on my, some 175 now. Okay, should have done that a while ago. That would have been cool. Let's, uh, dive in. The first one's a defense, I think. Yeah, Serapis Hounds. 200 tonner. Only get five picks. It's going to be cash. The mission area is under a heavy weather warning. It's going to affect visibility for you. <clears throat> I'm debating. Cool beans. All right. I'm dropping you into a region that's set to be targeted by the first Kittery borderers. They're expected to conduct a raid on Kaplan territory on orders from House Davion. Looks like they're not too happy about the Cerberus Hound's existence. Get ready to gear up and fend off the incoming attack. I think the big problem I have is the uh, 
The Hunchback's only doing 64. Everybody else is doing much more. Looks like we made it here just in time, Commander. Glad you could make it, Commander. Scouting reports detail hostile forces are fast approaching. Hope you're ready for a fight. Hostile forces just crossed the perimeter, Commander. They're heading your way. That matches the class of beast hole we're after. Take it out. Like I said, not very good with... While she was talking, I told the hunchback go kill this guy. New target javelin. Enemy units closing in. Target acquired. Moving on your target. Burn out here. That took care of him. Well, they got a secondary objective, huh? Yep. This is what I don't like about Coyote missions. Take an already balanced mission and screw the shit out of it. Really, one. Meanwhile, I told them all to go after this guy. He's taking damage. Enemy forces continuing to converge on your location. Still got ten left. The VTOLs don't count. Except for towards my cantina mission, of course. New target panther. I'll take care of it. Targeted. On the move. Too slow. I've not figured that out yet. You guys got to stop beating up on my city. New target, please. Main admin office has been destroyed. Enemy destroyed. Yeah, he's got a mask, apparently. Somebody kill that for me? Scopes are lighting up with additional bogus, Commander. Yep, five left. Including that one. New target, rifleman.
What is he doing way over there? Can't tell who it was. Oh yeah, screw that city. Got the 80% kicker, too. Achievement, whatever. Okay, two hole picks. Large laser. Whoop. They are always hard to find, it seems to me. Alright. Hey, should have gotten that one. That's always good. Maybe I'll stop complaining about when they do that. Maybe not. Battle mech repair. I'm not sure if this is when I gotta go back and activate mission two. I guess I do. Yep. Come on down to Grand Base, take out that war zone. A resource opportunity. I think they call that salvage or loot. I'll take a cantina. There we go. Love the war dog missions. Everything else could bite me. Well, some of them are good for stuff. Well, 3,200. Okay. And once again, cash. Okay, I'll take salvage if I have to. <clears throat> Not getting a lot of cash here. Frankly, I win more in the uh, Katina, or uh, Arena. Might go back to that and build up my cash reserves. And if I did, I'd have 50 more tons I can add. <coughs> Damn. Sorry, let me, let me clear my throat out. Could have turned the mic off for that. My job is to kill these guys, make money, and go home. Target 
sort of like that. Ooh, don't know what that was. Let's get this war zone kicked off. Really? I feel like they should update their insurance policies. Okay, got it. Thought I saw some red back here. No, I saw some over there. to a little bit of salvage for that one. Lance target received. Target Really? What a coincidence. Yet they shoot this one instead. Okay, he's dead. No, he's not. Now you are. Hmm. Yeah, not a uh, PPC guy. My resistance is causing a lot of damage to me. Let's see what I can do for the other guys. Or with the other guys. Yeah, and that was an assault mech, but it was only a charger. Four more. And here they come. One's over there, so... Hmm. Uh huh. The other three. one or no one behind us Enemy down. Group target 
received. And once again, out of here. Not too shabby. A little bit of armor damage, but just that's all. It's just armor. Armor. All right. I've gotten word from Leal Command that the majority of evacuations have getting better with that PPC, but not good. Not too bad. Slow moving targets. Five picks gets me a locust. Got nine of those. Might be time to upgrade. Okay, nothing useful down there as far as picking up a mech. And. I think we're just going to turn it into cash. Yeah, I took a beating, but it's all armor. And got some kills for it, so I'm getting better with that PPC. Hey, yard, yeah, that just makes it a lot easier to make that decision on that PPC, doesn't it? And 8 million C bills tells me it's time to go back and do a little bit of reconfiguration. But not down here again, because once again, they don't have good stuff down here. Hmm. I hate to spend a couple hundred grand just traveling. But it pays off, and that's one of the tips I can give you right here, is that if you're trying to upgrade your lance to a heavier mech, you have to travel to industrial hubs where they have heavier mechs. It's just the way it works. Speaking of which, uh, hero hunchback. But I've already got a hunchback that would replace the Phoenix Hawk, which in itself is a hero mech as well. Although for five million C bills, that is really cheap. Extra armor. Extra speed. This could replace my, my current hunchback. Pretty darn good. And five means <laughs> that's a steal for a medium. Back in the cash again. Yeah, I've still got an extra mech, so. Not this one, no. We'll take a look at that one. I have never seen this hero mech before. And that's saying something given the amount of time I play. What do we got for a weapon? AC wise, just a plain 10, huh? Er, pair of MPs, and that's it, huh? So, for the low, low price of three of these, I can upgrade. My inventory is three, so I could do a an upgrade there. Well, shucks. We'll lose that work.
Let's see. I don't know if the rapid fires count the same. I suspect they do not. So. Oops. I see 10, need 2, have 3. Upgrade that. Yeah, burst fires be different then. I'll go ahead and get it done. The ammo's gone too, of course. Yep, 400 points of ammo is not bad. Armor. I said ammo. Damn it. It's by far cool enough. I'm not sure I really like this weapons configuration as being good enough. Yeah, this might have been a boondoggle. Spent too much and didn't get what I needed. <coughs> the only advantage here is that this one's faster. So we can keep up with the rest on a raid mission or something like that. And 412 armor. That's not maxed out. I can take the hit right there. Or can I? I lost uh, 12 points of hit for 19 points of ammo. I really wish I could do something here, but I can't. Doesn't need cooling, just start it. That was 5 million plus repairs, not a big deal. And yeah, this one hits harder. The only difference is 5 kilometers per hour and 5 tons. And a couple hundred points of armor more than that one. I'm doing this paint job, right? Yeah. Okie dokie. That's it for this episode of Opal Plays MechWarrior 5. Except for me buying this rare double heatsink. And maybe that AMS. Don't forget to comment, like, subscribe. And most certainly come back for more because it will just be getting better. And Opus out.